Hey there, I'm back. Let's take a look at the globe knot. The globe knot is a knot commonly used to cover spherical objects such as golf balls, marbles, ball bearings, things like that. There are many types of globe knots which differ in the number of faces or crossings that they have. Generally, the more crossings a globe knot has, the larger object it can cover. I've recently used the globe knot to make a paracord tarantula. I've used it to make the back of the spider. To tie this knot, you're going to need some paracord, a core, I'm going to use a marble, and a PVC pipe or a mandrel in order to tie the knot onto. I usually start at the halfway of my cord and I wrap it around the mandrel four times, leaving cord at both ends because you're going to need it to weave the knot. We're going to take the right end and go over, under, over, under until we reach the left side. Then just pull the cord through to the left. Take your right cord and go under, over, under the cords until you reach the right end. Like this. At this point you have the basic starting position which we're going to use to, to weave this knot. First thing we're going to do is take our left end and double up the cord at the bottom. We're then going to take our right end, the top one, and double up the cord at the top. When we've done that, spread apart the top cords because we're going to split them using our right cord. So take the right end and go under, over, under, over until you reach the left. Spread apart the bottom two cords and we're going to split them using our left end. We're going to start by inserting the cord under the first cord, then go over, under, over, under till we reach the other side. So, over, under, over under over the last thing we need to do now is go to the top of the knot and you can see there's some space in between the two cords the top one and the bottom one and we're going to split them as well by going under Over, under, over. At this point, you have both cords on your left side and you can remove the knot from your mandrel and insert your, your core and then tighten the knot around the core. I've tightened up the cord around the core and you can see that it's a bit too loose. You can use a lacing needle and some paracord to double up the knot if there are too many spaces around the knot left. 
I'm going to show you another way that you can use to make this double core globe knot, which is to use two cords to wrap and weave the knot.